Now today's fly is a variant of Roman Moser's very famous Etherfoam sedge, also known as a Moser sedge and various other names of bubble, caddis and a few other names. And I'm going to tie it today on a size um, 12 mustad dry fly hook. Now I'm going to use black tying thread size 8 -0. The first thing we do is we just apply the thread as usual and we head on down to the bend of the hook. Now at this point I'm going to tie in some of this stuff here. This is orange tinsel. Now you can use orange or any other sort of high vis colour and um, sort of luminous green is good also but I find the orange is makes it an exceptional fly. So I just tie in at the back there just like that, bring it forward just a few millimeters. And wrap the orange, create a little bump in it and then just tie it off again. So basically we have a little orange tag. Next thing is, um, if I put my hand on it here, there it is, sort of a high vis, luminous sort of green. Now, head up here to just behind the eye of the hook, and I'm now going to use um, the vital ingredient I think that makes this fly so successful, ether foam. I'm using an orange colour here, the original was tied with a sort of a um, yellow colour. You can use any colour foam you like because this fly is generally fished in the dark or just at dusk and I don't believe the colour is seen at that point. So I pinch it down here with my thumb and tie it in. Now, now I'm going to use my dubbing mixture here an olive green is probably best. They say that this fly represents um, a sedge or caddis in the process of hatching. Whether that's true or not I'm not sure but it's one of my favourite flies for evening and nighttime fishing. Now I apply my dubbin as I normally do. Nice thick rope for any caddis fly. Wind it on. On the way down. And on the way back up. It's just behind the eye. And now I'm going to use this luminous green in the direction opposite to the dubbin, which will reinforce it. And I do open turns three or four on the way back up and tie that in. Trim off the excess. Now the next material is CDC. Col de canard in French which basically means ducks arse basically. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use three or four feathers here. There's two. Get a third. Here we are. That's three. So put the three feathers together.
and I'm measuring to about that length, just beyond the hook bend. Now, pinch and loop to tie that in. Yeah. Good few turns. There we are. Now you could just use the CDC on its own and um, it'll work very effectively. The original fly calls for elk hair or deer hair so I apply a little deer hair as well so I cut out a little bunch of deer hair about that much. Now there are different ways of leveling the ends you can use your hand like this but uh, I have a little tool here that does the job, this little tool here. And I just drop it in. And I can just tap it on my hand like that. And that'll level with the ends. Now I measure that to the same length as the CDC. Cut off the excess. And again, pinch and loop to tie in the deer hair. Plenty of turns. Now at this point, if we have any vertical, we can just cut them out like that. Then we can add another little bit of dubbing. Just here. and fold back the form and tie it in creating a sort of head on the fly now whip finish four or five turn whip finish and then a second one just to make it secure cut the thread off cut the foam and that's what I call my killer caddis pattern absolutely deadly on any river where there are caddis and I believe caddis are resident in virtually ev every river some form of them so very easy to fish it any rising trout late in the evening the, the fly tends to work extremely well at dusk and thereafter but